Hey everybody, welcome back to your React series. We're still talking about the proper way of logging in in a React application. So we just did two other episodes on logging in, and this is all about creating the form and taking in the access token into the local storage. But the problem we have is that our form doesn't redirect to a new page after we log in. Right now, if we visit the login page from another page, we hit log in, nothing happens even though we're technically logged in at this point. So this is a great opportunity to learn about a new hook called use location, and we're going to learn about passing state with our use navigate hook. So if that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry, that's what we're talking about in this video. So we have two options here. We could navigate back to the previous page they came from, which is what I would recommend, or alternatively, if you want to keep it real simple, you could just navigate to some home page. You know, maybe they have some dashboard. That is a very simple way to do it because you will always be navigating to the same path and you don't have to worry about passing paths and state between different components. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how can we send information to the login page that says where we came from. And that is going to be done by passing state with navigate. So this is what it's going to look like. Within our code, we find some location where we are navigating to the login page and Navigate has the ability to take another argument, which is going to be an object. Inside of here, and this is important, you're going to have state. The property name here needs to be state. Now, inside of state, we're going to have another object where you can place whatever properties you want. So for example, we could say previous URL, and then pass in some value like slash customers. Now we are currently in the customers component, so slash customers is kind of like our current URL, but when we pass this to another component and we go to a different page, it's really going to be the previous URL. From the login's perspective, it's the previous. Now within the login page, we can talk about how to get that information. So this is going to require a new hook. So we'll say import and it'll be called use location from react router DOM. And we will create a variable for this. So we'll say const location is use location. So this location variable should have the information that we passed in that state property. However, just to see this, I'm going to have a use effect, which will allow us to easily write something to the console. So we will also need to import this from React. So use effect. And inside of this function, we'll console log location. So here's how it's going to work. You visit a page, it redirects to the login page, we have an object down here, which has the state property, and you can see the previous URL in there. So when the user logs in, we know the appropriate place to send them should go to slash customers. Now we hard coded that slash customers inside of our customers component. We'll talk about how we can generate that value here in a moment. For now, let's talk about how we can navigate to that page. Pretty much we just need to go into the state object and then grab the previous URL property. Saving that and now we should just see slash customers. So that is the value you want to use when we navigate. So now let's go into the login event handler and navigate to slash customers after we are done with the fetch. So let's go in and find where that form is submitted. Here's the fetch. Finally, we got everything good to go. We're not gonna need that console log anymore but we are going to navigate and pass in location.state.previous URL. That should do the trick. We can get rid of this use effect. That was just for demonstration purposes. And the last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a variable for this navigate. So we'll say const navigate, and this is going to say use navigate, which will need imported from React Router DOM, use navigate. Now everything should be wired up. So let's go visit a page, it takes us to the login page, we log in, it takes us back to the customers page. This took me some time to figure out how to do it and I wanted to give a special shout out to Web Dev Simplified who gave me some tips. There's a few other ways you can do this, so feel free to do some research on what way you would like to do. For example, navigate, you can pass in a negative number to go back in the user's history. One reason I didn't want to do this, though, is that if they came to that URL directly, well, it might take them back to a previous website that they were on. This seemed like the best solution for me. Now I want to talk about how can we generate the current URL when we pass in the previous URL. 
So right now we are hard coding slash customers in this previous URL. What I want to do is basically say the previous URL is the current URL. So how can we see that they are currently on the customers page? Well, this can actually come from location as well. If you take a look at our previous object we printed here, we have the path name slash login. So we should be able to say location dot path name. So let's try it out. We will import use location. And again, this is going to come from React Router DOM. Anytime we're doing anything with links or navigating or routing, that's React Router DOM. And we will create a variable. So const location is use location. And now instead of current URL, we will just say location dot. And the property we are looking for is path name. You can see it right here. So let's go ahead and type out path name, save. Let's try it out. So we will first log out by manually setting our access token to something else. Now when we visit the customers, we're already there, so let's do a refresh. It takes us to the customers page, redirects to the login page. We hit login, it takes us back to the customers page. So far so good. Now all you have to do is copy this behavior across any pages where you redirect to the login page. So I'm going to copy this object here because we're going to do something very similar for these other routes. And pretty much any time we navigate to log in, we will want to have the previous URL. So there's three from the customer and one from the customer. So we got this. This one was old and was for demonstration purposes. There's actually no backend requirement for a login, but you could of course add that in here as well. It looks like I need a, another curly brace there. Let's go add this to the other pages. Paste that here. here and here. Now I'll say file save all. Let's try it with an individual customer now. So we will visit, oh, of course we have to import the use location ref and create a variable for it. Silly me. So let's go up here, use location, and we'll just create the variable. Const location is use location. And we will copy this line for the other pages as well. So create that there. I kind of try to keep things consistent in my spacing and the order in which I do things, but I'm not perfect. And we will need to import that here as well. So React Router DOM, use location. And then I'll just make sure everything is saved. And now our site looks to be in working order again. Let's go ahead and log out by setting our access token to something. Now, if we visit a specific customer, let's say customers 12, we log in and it takes us to customer 12. If you're not sure of the ID, you could go back to your customers list and check their IDs. But yeah, so far it seems to be working. We could also check the dictionary one just in case. This is using an external API, so it really just doesn't even make sense to have this navigation to a login page. So I'm not going to worry about that for now. We just had that for a demonstration earlier on in the series. So we need to consider the situation where you visit the login page directly and you don't have a previous URL. So you can test this out by taking this path and pasting it in a new tab. And now we didn't come from any other page, so when we log in, we get an exception thrown, cannot read properties of null. So we're trying to read previous URL, but state currently is null, so we get an exception. And if you needed to, you could go through here and console log each item one at a time. So we would say console log location, console log location dot state, and then console log location dot state dot previous URL. So the third one here is what's going to throw the exception. So when we try to log in, we get three console logs, this one, this one, and this one. The first thing exists, but state is null. The next one state is obviously null, and then we get the exception. So the third one gives the exception, but the real problem is a layer up because state is null. So to fix this, you can do optional chaining and you just put a question mark before each of the dots. And in this situation, if you try to access something 
on something that is null, this value is just going to be undefined instead of throwing an exception. So now in the console we shouldn't get any exceptions, so if we try to log in, we just get null and undefined. We're still getting the exception here, but that is actually coming from navigate, so we can do the same exact thing here. But this isn't going to work quite right because you can't navigate to an undefined. So what's going to happen is we log in and it's trying to navigate to an undefined path. So the fix for this is now to do a ternary. And we're basically going to traverse through this structure using the optional chaining. And if that value exists, we'll navigate to it. Otherwise, we'll navigate to some default page. So what we'll do is we will say question mark. And if that's the case, we will navigate to location.state.previousURL. We don't need to do the chaining now because we know it already exists. If this is not the case, then what we need to do is just navigate somewhere else, such as the default customers page or some dashboard or some general page. And now when we log in, it takes us to the customers page. So that is how you make sure your login page is not completely broken if you try to access it directly. Now we can get rid of these console logs. We're not gonna need those. And there you go. So that my friends is how you will navigate to login and then redirect back to the previous page. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. Now we got to take a look at logging out and how to conditionally render things like login or log out in the header and various other things like that. So stay tuned. Things are starting to come together. It's looking quite nice. You're kind of looking nice.